that timeline is really interesting and has been completed with uh, icons that illustrates really well. Now, what I would like to, to have is the possibility to explain how uh, my project went on. And for that, I would like to be able to present the feasibility study, the design, the marketing up to the production. And for this, I'm going to use this timeline with animations. The first animation I would like to have is to see the start date enter. For that, I select the shape here and I go here up into animation. And I will choose here fly in but from another direction that is to say from the left the second animation i will have is the feasibility study for that i'm going to select the complete group here to make sure that all those elements are chosen together and now what i'm going to do it's to group them. So I go into shape format here and you see that we can group them together. Like that, it's one piece, one bit of element. And now I can go into animation and again fly in. It flies in from down up and I would like here the opposite, that is to say coming from top. You see, it flies in like that downwards. Now we can go to the animation pane, which is here, and we discover that we, we have the first animation and the second one is defined as a group. So I can start now from the beginning just to check those two animations. I have the first one and the second one. This is correct for me. The third animation element will be the go-no-go -no -go decision. For this, I come here in the space, I make sure I select all the elements and you see that they are separated. So I go into the format of the graphics and here I'm going to group them. Once they are grouped, I can now switch to the animation part. I will show the animation pan. We have currently two elements and I'm going to say that one is going to fly in. It flies from the bottom to the top. For me, it's just fine. So we are going now to check the three animations we have. And they are flying in as I expected. it. The fourth animation will be the design part, which is here. So once again, I select here everything. And once again, I'm grouping all those elements to make a single element here. And I'm going into animation, flying in, but that time I'm changing the option. That is to say, it's going to fly from the top. You've seen that we have the group 52 that has been added. And I'm going to check again from the beginning how the different elements are coming in. This is just fine. I'm going to continue now with different elements till I have everything in place and we are going to do together at the end the today's date. So I'm back after uh, the animation and we are going to check that everything is as we planned it. And this is fine. This is what I expected. The last element that I'm going to select is the today that we see here. So I'm selecting it like that. And what I'm going to, to do is to insert it as a last element like that in my presentation. I can present everything that happened in a chronological way and then I can start the status about how it's going on with the project as of today. So for this, I'm going to select an entry, but I prefer to have it from the top. 
So we have here now the last element and we can verify that everything is going on smoothly. And today as the last element. We have now our complete project that we can control with keystrokes. Like that we can explain how it was planned and we have also the possibility now to discuss what's happening today and to describe the project status.